Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and uh, Scorpio Rising. Weekly tarot reading, May 13th to May 19th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can go uh, straight away into the spread. Alright, so the first card for Scorpio, uh, that is going to be the topic of their week when we do have the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which is the challenge for Scorpio's week, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. Then what we do have, it is the positive, the positivity out of the week or what helps you there, uh, that is going to be the Ten of uh, Pentacles. And the last one, which is the guidance for you to take Scorpio, we do have the Four of Cups, alright? So uh, Nine of Pentacles is the topic, followed by the uh, Nine of Cups, which is the challenge. Then it is the Ten of Pentacles, which is what helps you there. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Four of Cups, uh, which is the guidance. So Scorpio, uh, it looks, uh, well, I do suspect that we're talking more about career than relationship this week, uh, or it is most likely where this uh, reading is going to manifest itself. And we're talking for those big leaps into one uh, career unfoldment, that, that these endeavors, these, these conquests that, that one could, uh, could take into their career, improving their financial state, improving their um, career growth, and in generally uh, becoming much more productive than they are right now. Well, I can certainly say that for myself, guys. I can certainly say that for myself. All right, so uh, Nine of Pentacles, which is the topic for your Scorpio's week. So Nine of Pentacles points to content, contemplation, you know, if that's the word that I have to use here. Um, I, it basically points to things that you are going to feel very content to, um, to tackle with. Ex exhilarating projects into your career, really good relationships that you can achieve around yourself. But the... Um, the Nine of uh, Pentacles, it is the true nature of that card is a conquest. And it's a uh, it's an adventure, right? So this itself speaks that you're going to find something challenging on, in a positive way. You know, that challenging project which promises great rewards at the end. That challenging person which promises really beautiful relationship at the end should the challenge be traversed. Okay. And as we can see with the Nine of Cups, the challenge is not much of a challenge, but we're going to get there uh, in a minute. So uh, the Nine of Pentacles here represents that you either are going to have the, the job or you are either going to have the person throughout this week. Who knows? You may have both. All right. I certainly hope so, at least for myself. So uh, the next card that we do have, which is the catalyst for the Nine of Pentacles, that is going to be the King of Wands. 
formation that we do have it is a, a passive neutrals and it looks like that this is going to be uh, something out of um, out of your liking in the sense that you're going to be rather very busy not being able to entertain yourself much with the things that you like to do that is due to the fact that this is going to be the week where you will have to transform your ideas into very powerful drive into very powerful actions and that's why you may not want to be able to enjoy life that much all right because you're going to be very busy for example i'm going to be busy recording videos all right and making new content because i do have it in my mind but yeah it's kind of like it's going to be busyness that will kind of pay off at the end of the day and uh if you are lazy like I am, well, I suggest you and I suggest to myself, you know, to basically roll up your sleeves and start working because it really is going to worth it at the end of the day. It's going to worth it more than you know, either career wise or either relationship wise as well. Uh, the next card, which is the challenge here, uh, that is the nine of cups. So the nine of cups, it, it's not much of a challenge. All right. I just it does point. It could point a couple of things. First thing is it could point is that um, or what is manifesting in front of you as a, a productive endeavor, either career wise or relationship wise, may not be what you have expected. I mean, you may, you may have wanted to have something different. Okay. But in the same time, what is manifesting is equal in benefits, is equal in emotional benefits, is equal into a, a, a material benefits as well. Additionally to that, the Nine of Cups, it, as a challenge, it does represent the uh, difficulty to secure it in the sense of that um, I, I have to give it a uh, as an, an example. Let's say that you start um, dating with that exhilarating person, all right? So difficulty or challenging to secure it mean challenging to establish a, a consistent interactions in between each other. Consistent, for example, seeing each other on a daily basis, talking each other on a daily basis on the phone and these kind of stuff. So that is going to be challenging. Same thing goes in regards to a career as well. The accompanied card here that is going to be the emperor so the formation it is a, a passive uh, enemies so the way how you can overcome the challenge it's to become structural do not be scattered around do not just take the things as they come around but have plans you know have structure in your daily routine uh, present yourself very reliable to either this person or to either this endeavor which is in front of you. For example, with me, I need to present myself very consistent and reliable with making videos if I want to just push through my career, you know, and, and, and with people which are coming to me for reading as well. <clears throat> So I have to make double time. That is the thing. I have to make double time. It is what that, it is what that reading screams to me, guys. It's, I have to make double time. But yeah, I mean, you will have to create a, a better plan. You need to manage your time better. That is uh, what these couple of cards are, um, are saying to us Scorpios. So um, if we want to traverse this short term momentum of success into a, a long lasting one. So uh, the next one, which is what helps us, and that is the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, or what is the positivity? So this is one more clue that what the, the, our, um, our efforts throughout the week are going to be paid off. Because the Ten of Pentacles is a manifestation, is something that helps. It points to very lucrative or beneficial, that is, uh, investments, either emotional or either um, material as well. Additionally to that, the, the Ten of Pentacles points that you do have someone that you can trust around you who can help you with the job or with the work that you are doing and finally that is going to create more independence more personal independence more business independence in a sense of independence what i mean is that if we're talking about relationship you're going to become you're going to make that relationship more independent from other people while in the same time the person that you are associating yourself into that relationship is someone that you can trust on okay but that is if that is a new one, okay? Because with the uh, nine of pentacles here. 
or a fairly new one, a fairly new relationship. <clears throat> so yeah, your investments is gonna pay off, so do not be uh, conservative when it comes to uh, performance, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. The accompanied card uh, here, or the catalyst, is gonna be the death card, so the formation it is a passive friend. The death card is, does uh, represents the change of uh, circumstances here. So, uh, as I said, um, how can I place it? Uh, as I said, uh, faithful, that is a triversion. What I mean is that they, um, you couldn't have uh, trust into this person before, but now, thanks to these circumstances, you now can have a trust in this uh, in this person. Your uh, efforts, or rather like your investments, haven't been justified before, but now with the new circumstances, they are now justified and you can start making an investment. So something big is gonna happen for us throughout this week, Scorpio, and we have to catch the tide, all right? We just have to take advantage of it because it's ours to take. It's gonna take a lot of, um, a lot of effort, a lot of tackling that is, but it will seriously, seriously worth it. And um, <clears throat> that is well described with the last card, which is uh, the uh, guidance that Taro has for us, Scorpio. We have the Four of Cups. So the Four of, of Cups says one thing, you know, that there is an awesome opportunity around us. It is just, we are missing it for some reason, or we are looking into the different direction, all right? And for that reason, in an acute mental strength it is needed or ment mental awareness, mental awareness means, for those who doesn't know, means that you will have to clinch more upon your logic rather than upon your um, emotions and take that opportunity and try to and, and can start developing it moving on forward. Because the Four of Cups points that you are on the peak of your current uh, situation meaning that if nothing changes, then you have nothing to benefit from, okay? And the change is happening in that situation throughout this week. And you will need to have that alertness in order to take advantage of this, uh, of this change. Uh, the accompanied card is the Ace of Cups formation. It is a passive supporters. And the only thing that I can um, add here, it is that the, this uh, circumstances which will allow you, you know, to such drastically uh, improve the circumstances in this um, in this situation of yours is go are going to happen spontaneously. They're going to happen surprisingly and it will require that swiftness of yours to take advantage of, that, of them, that, you, that readiness of action of yours to take on this uh, uh, challenge to take on this conquest and to leap into either love or business uh, business endeavors. So that being said, Scorpios, this was your weekly tarot reading for May 13th to May 19th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.